Now that, you see, that's a floribunda, but I think that's well past its best. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, to be honest with you, I wouldn't take that one. Yeah. What about this one here? Sil Silver Jubilee, that's a beauty, mm -hmm. isn't it? That's lovely. Yes, you smell that? It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. And this, this here, this is a hybrid tea or HT. Now these bloom perpetually from June right through to October. And as you see, the flowers are long and kind of pointed. You see that? Yeah. Excuse me, does the name Charles Woolly Dodd mean anything to you? Wally Dodd, a magnificent gardener. At his death in 1904, it was said, horticulture has not sustained a more severe loss. Henry Crab, you old bugger. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Now, what was that rose I named after him? Oh, I, Wally Dodd's rose, eh? Rosa pomifera duplex, a double form of apple rose with soft pink flowers. And luxuriant grey-green foliage, always remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were just as boring banging on about your cooking and that. Alexis Sarah, of your guru's name was Sawyer. Why oh, Sawyer? Sawyer. Yeah, have you retired yet? Oh, I wish I had. It suits you, though, Tom. Oh, a dream come true. <laughs> My life didn't begin until I left the force. <laughs> so, eh, uh, what brings you to these parts, eh? What happened when you flew to Morocco to investigate Vince Palmer's death? Get me shot, you will. <laughs> <laughs> What's the odd bullet all day? You know I'm worth dying for. Obviously, I haven't been able to access the actual files on the case. What about the names of the officers who conducted the ID in Morocco? This all happened a long time ago. Are you going to tell me why it's so important? Fred, I can't. Not yet, anyway. Look, I don't know what you're on to, but my advice on this one is to tread carefully. Ah, to go on in the force, you've got to keep in with the right people. I hated my last few years. I only hung on for the pension. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds familiar. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't have early retirement yourself. Well, there's been a few hiccups, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you're certain that yeah, with the body you identified was Vince Palmer's? Henry, you're a good friend, and I appreciate you coming to see me first rather than, you know, doing it in the official. But the man you saw can't be Palmer. Can't be. I mean, the fingerprints match, so that's conclusive. So, presumably, you saw the actual body in the morgue as well? Well, two of us flew over there, myself and a DCI. Uh, there wasn't a place to hang about, believe you me. Now, as I recall, I dealt with the local police. They'd fingerprinted the corpse, and I'd brought a set of his dabs over with me. And they were identical. A Morpo, he went to the morgue and formally ID'd the body. So, who signed the papers confirming proof of death? Well, he did. He'd seen the body. <laughs> Henry, it's history. Palmer was scum. There are very, very few people who would shed a tear for him. It's just no one raking all this up. Hmm. This, um, DCI who signed the papers, what can you tell me about him? <sighs> Sharp lad, ambitious, just the sort to go on in the force. But he wasn't he bent, if that's what you're thinking. No way. I'm sure of it. In fact, I put my life on it. Well, that's good enough for me, Tom. Right off the bat. Hmm. Are you sure that says, welcome to our home? I got a lecture I know to write it down for his art students. Oh. Well, we know about students and their advanced sense of humour. I hope they haven't changed it to sod off you nips or something intelligent like that. The point is, does it work? Does it look right? Well... Oh, take all the time you want, Brian. Don't worry about our arms getting tired or anything like that. Well, I don't know, do I? I mean, it's not exactly my line. Oh, come here, you have a look. Yeah. Nice. What does it say? Sod off, you nips. PC Cambridge is in the kitchen. With my husband or without him? Without. In fact, she asked me to ask you if you know where he is. I'd assumed he'd gone off somewhere with her again. Oh, don't worry about our arms getting tired, Margaret. I mean, take all the time in the world. Saturday night could make or break our little business here, Constable. 
I realize it's important to you. Well, it is. For once, Henry's got a week free to concentrate on food, and we really need it. Mrs. Crabb, I'm sorry, but it's vital that I talk to him. Please ask him to call me. Thank you. Do with hanging a sign outside. Sod off, you cops. <laughs> You see, your North American oyster is oviparous, meaning the eggs are discharged straight into the water. Whereas your European oyster is laviparous, the egg and larvae remaining in the mantle cavity. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's fascinating, Eric. But uh, are they quintessentially English? Well, they come from Colchester. Fair enough. Uh, but it's no good. You see, I've committed myself in print to Whitstable. I can get you Whitstable, Mr. Crabbe. Go. Getting a bit old for hide and seek, aren't we, sir? Go away, I'm busy. I need a word, it won't take long. I'm sorry, Eric, I won't be a mo. Look, I made a mistake. It can't have been Vince Palmer. Just forget about the whole thing, Constable. Why? Because an old mate of yours was one of the senior officers who made the ID, ex-detective Inspector Watson. <sighs> yeah, all right, I went to see Tom, but he wasn't the officer that signed the proof of death form, so he's got nothing to hide. And what about the officer who went with him? I'm not interested. That was Vince Palmer, we saw. He wasn't killed, was he? I couldn't give a damn if he was killed or not. The... I just don't care. OK? Now, I've got a very big night coming up at the restaurant, so please, get off my back and let me get on with it. You're not planning to go to the conference to see Mr Fisher, then? No, of course I'm not. Kitty, you could have said hello to the chairman, Graham Stokes, hotly tipped to be the new Met Police Commissioner. The same man who, as a detective chief inspector, went with your old pal to Morocco and officially declared Vince Palmer dead. You could ask Stokes how he made such a mistake or whether someone got a backhander. You might even remind him about the security guard whose sight was blown away and hasn't seen sunshine in 16 years. Or you could just order some wet fish and forget all about it. <laughs> 